popular dividend stock in the UK, National Grid. The ticker symbol on the London Stock Exchange is NG. It currently trades for £10.68 per share. It pays two dividends per year, and the last two were for 37.6 pence and 19.4 pence per share. That gives them a nice dividend yield of 5.6%, but they haven't announced the next ex-dividend date. I started my position on the 21st of June of 2021, and I'm about 8.5% up. I've received 56 cent in dividends so far, and no returns of capital as of yet. The stock is up about 1% in the last five days, about the same in the last month. It's up 8.2% in the last six months. It's up about 3% in the last year. And it's up about 33.5% in the last five years. It has a 52-week low of £9.18 and a 52-week high of £12.29. Now a quick overview on National Grid stock. And there's five points they can earn in this section. The company was founded in 1990. That makes it 33 years of age and earns them 0.65 points out of one. And it operates in the utility sector, specifically electric utilities. And it's the largest electricity transmission and distribution business in the UK. And it also operates in New England and New York in the USA. So although they don't technically have a product or services moat, as they only offer one product, them being the largest in the UK and also being international earns them one point out of one. They currently employ about 31,000 people, which earns them another point. And their current market cap is £39.6 billion. That makes them a large cap stock and earns them another point. And I can't really see any bad news on them at the moment. They seem to think that their expected performance will be in line with expectations and that their US segment will be stronger in the second half of the year. Market Screener gives them a rating of a moderate buy based on 17 analyst ratings. That's 5 buys, 4 outperforms, 7 holds and 1 underperform with no sell ratings. Market Beat also rates them a moderate buy based on six analyst ratings. That's three buys and three holds. Tip Ranks also rates them a moderate buy, giving them a score of 9 out of 10. Yahoo Finance UK gives them a score of 2.4 out of 5, which is also in the range of a moderate buy. That's based on three strong buy ratings, four buy ratings, seven hold ratings, five underperform ratings, and no sell ratings. And CNN Business rates them a buy. That's based on 8 buy ratings, 1 outperform rating, 6 hold ratings, no underperform ratings, and 1 sell rating. So for their news and analyst sentiments, I'll give them 0.9 out of 1 point. So it's off to a strong start, 4.55 points out of 5 for the overview. And for the valuation of National Grid stock, there's another 5 points they can earn here. The total amount of money coming through the business, which is the revenue, is £21.6 billion. And the percentage of that that they actually get to keep, which is the profit margin, is a whopping 141%. That earns them one point out of one. Their current earnings per share is 50 pence. And they're trading at a price to earnings ratio of 20.93. This is well above the average price to earnings ratio for the UK utility sector. So they only earn 0.1 out of a potential one point here. They currently have £92.7 billion in assets and £63.1 billion in liabilities, which gives them a debt-to-assets ratio of 68%, which is pretty good. That earns them 0.6 out of a potential one point. And their cash flow from operating was £6.9 billion, from investing was £240 million, and from financing was negative £7.1 billion. A huge chunk of that was from issuance of new debt, which was negative £4 billion. They paid £1.6 billion in dividends and they paid £1.5 billion financing cash flow items. So their net change in cash for the year was £19 million in the red. For a company this size, that's not a huge problem, but it only earns them 0.2 out of a potential one point. And the insider ownership of the company is only 0.3%, which earns them 0.1 out of one point. So not very good for the valuation overall, two out of five points. And now for the dividend that National Grid pays. There's a potential 6.5 points that National Grid can earn in this section. They pay a dividend twice per year, but they haven't paid any special dividends in the last five years, so they don't get the extra 0.2 points. However, their current dividend yield is 5.3%, and that earns them one point out of one. Their current dividend payout ratio, which is how much of their profits they pay out as a dividend, is 82%. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. That earns them 0.5 out of one point. 
They've been paying the dividend since 1996 at least, which is 28 years of consecutive dividend payments and earns them 0.8 out of 1.5 points. They also paid a smaller dividend in 2022 than they paid in 2021, which means they only have one year of consecutive dividend raises. That earns them 0.1 out of 1 point. Their dividend growth rate over the last three years is 20.5%. Over the last five years is negative 3%. Over the last 10 years is 30%. And over the last 20 years is also 30%. So overall, they earn 0.7 out of a potential 1 point there. And this would be nice if it was true. Assuming an annual dividend growth rate of 20%, the dividends would double every 3.8 years. But that is very ambitious. So for the dividend, National Grid scores 3.6 out of 6.5 points. So overall, National Grid scored 10.15 points out of a potential 16.5. That's a score of about 61%. So it's actually a lot lower than I thought it would be. But it's certainly not a bad stock by any means. And as I've said before, this is just my own system for rating them based on my own goals. So it might not apply to you or your strategy whatsoever. But that's pretty much it for this one. And I hope you found this useful.